Today we're going to explore how to check to see whether or not your R9 Fury Vanilla has a Fiji die that's able to be fully and completely unlocked. This process is very straightforward and easy to conduct. You'll need to download two things for this to work properly. First, we want to download something called Memory Info that's available in the URL in the description. The program that we're going to make use of to actually read the compute units is going to make use of some of the DLLs that are offered in this program. The second file is the actual program that will read the compute units and determine whether they can be unlocked fully. So go to the URL that's provided in the description to download it. Check the hash, always check the hash because what's posted, and let's get going. First we're going to extract memory info. Then we're going to put the contents of CU info into the memory info folder so that it can use those DLLs within. Once everything is extracted, simply run cuinfo16.exe. As you can see, down below it'll describe how many compute units are active and how many are available. The last message tells you whether or not those units can actually be unlocked. Now the more X's that you have on the right side right up here means the higher probability of success of unlocking. Now if it says that it might be able to unlock it, the next step is to create a new BIOS out of your own BIOS and then flash that new one onto your board. Just keep in mind that because these chips are binned, unlocking them doesn't mean that they'll actually work properly. So unlock these compute units at your own risk.